G'day there. Living on acreage can bring extra work and responsibilities, but a rural lifestyle can also bring much joy and satisfaction. Likewise, keeping stock can be very rewarding, but at times potentially frustrating to you and your neighbours. Livestock often don't acknowledge fences, can live by their own rules, and if not managed properly, can be a threat to themselves and local farms. So understandably, they're governed by regulations to keep your animals and local farming industry safe. Here are some of the main ones. You're responsible for making sure your animals have adequate food and water, are handled properly, protected from extreme weather conditions and otherwise healthy. Before purchasing any stock, you must get a property identification code or PIC. Any New South Wales property carrying livestock is required by law to have a PIC. Yep, even if it's just one horse or a potty calf, you must have a PIC. Before loading and transporting stock, you must ensure they're correctly identified with a National Livestock Identification System, that is NLIS, tag or device. All movements must be recorded on the NLIS database. Your local land services office can help you get the correct paperwork. To help protect our ag industry and keep markets open, you need to notify us, local land services, if you suspect or are aware of a range of livestock diseases. As a livestock owner, you also should have a solid understanding of pasture management and feeding programs during drought. There's some great information on the local land services and Department of Primary Industries websites. Until next time, cheers.